Good morning. The strong leap of faith of the recent past is missing on the Indian bourses with the main indices stepping back from their 32 months peak. This was only to be expected given the speed at which the markets had risen in a short span of time. Some more sideways consolidation cannot be ruled out and the bulls will hope it is just a temporary cooling. The start today is expected to be slightly down. From there on, the markets could turn choppy and indecisive. The key Asian markets are also trading slightly down and China remains shut for the day. US markets extended their recent declines following disappointing weekly jobless claims data and a downbeat economic statistics from Europe. Stock benchmarks across Europe too finished lower in the wake of mounting concerns over the Irish economy and the overall Eurozone. Back home, the FII inflows have tapered off in the past couple of sessions. Global markets are not supportive either. As of the worries surrounding the US economic slowdown were not enough, we have seen some escalation in the concerns over the Eurozone debt issues lately. World indices are not falling off the cliff, but the airy feeling about the health of a few key economies continues. The FIIs will advise at Rs 5.34 billion in the cash segment on Thursday provisionally as per the NSE website. Local funds were net sellers of Rs 6.45 billion. In the FNO segment, the foreign funds were net sellers at Rs 21.5 billion. And the FIIs were net buyers of Rs 15.05 billion in the cash segment on Wednesday according to the SEBI website. The other news for the day is, ONGC plans to buy 14 rigs for 40 billion rupees in the next two to three years. ONGC has began shale gas exploration by drilling the first well in eastern India. SEBI has rejected the proposal by MCXSX promoted by Financial Technologies to launch stock and debt trading platforms. JSW Steel and Japan's GFE Holdings are considering setting up a plant for high-grade electrical steel. LNT has formed a joint venture with South Africa Bufeli Investments for power transmission and distribution in South Africa. EIH will raise up to Rs 13 billion through a rights issue. Kingfisher Airlines has said that it has cleared all the dues to the oil marketing companies. ONGC said that it will protect its interest in Cairn India and consciously opted not to make a counter bid. ARCOM moves TDSAT challenging disconnection notice by BSNL. ONGC said its natural gas output to rise by over 58% a day by financial year 2016. Adani Wilmar is planning to spend 10 billion rupees into expansion over the next two years and expected to double its soya meal export to 1 million ton this year. JSW Steel targets 16 million tons capacity by 2014. KC International completes acquisitions of SA Towers for 95 million US dollars. TechPro Systems has raised 469 million rupees from eight anchor investors' funds for its maiden IPO. IVRCL Infra has backed orders worth rupees 7.5 billion for Maharashtra State Highway in Yuvatmal and Chandrapur district on DBFOT basis. Tabar India has issued bonus in the ratio of 1 is to 1 under Employee Stock Option Scheme. JK Lakshmi Cement will invest Rs 18 billion over the next 3 to 4 years to double its cement production capacity. Sri Cement plans to expand its cement capacity by 7 MTPA in the next 5 years. Strides Acrolab plans to raise up to 100 million US dollars through a QIP. The government has hiked FII's investment limit in government bonds and corporate bonds by 5 billion US dollars. The government has scaled down borrowings by Rs 100 billion for the second half of the fiscal year. Bank loans increased by Rs 277 billion during the fortnight ended 10th September and deposits rose by Rs 336 billion. Food inflation for the week ended September 11th stood at 15.46%. Rice production during the Kharif season is likely to go up by 6%, sugarcane by 17%, and pulses by 33% according to the government first advanced crop estimates. Government claims 24 FDI proposals worth 27 billion rupees. Sugar output may rise by 28% to 24 million tons in 2010-2011. The recommendations for the day are a buy on Wipro. We recommend high risk traders to buy the stock above levels of rupees 445 for a target price of rupees 470 and a strict stop loss is to be maintained at rupees 435. A buy on Crompton Greaves. We recommend traders to buy the stock above levels of Rs. 318 with a stop loss to be maintained at Rs. 310 for a target price of Rs. 338. The derivative strategies are 
Long GT offshore September future in the range of rupees 386 to rupees 388 for a target price of rupees 414 and a stop loss is to be maintained at rupees 378. And short Balrampur Chini September future in the range of rupees 88 to 89 for a target price of rupees 78 and a stop loss is to be maintained at rupees 92. Thank you and have a great day ahead.